You've got yourself a violin. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Let's take a closer look at it. And the first thing we'll be reviewing is the um, are the open note strings. So we start with the fourth string, which is the open G. Our next string, the third string, is a D. The second string is an A. And our first string is an E. Remember these notes because these are the notes you will be tuning your violin on. Now we will look at the notes that we can do with our fingers on each string. For that, you will need a left hand. The fingering system is numbers that are assigned to each finger. One, two, three, and four. Those numbers, especially in this tutorial, will appear above the notes, so you know which finger to use. So let's jump to our G string right here. And let's view the notes on it. The next note will be an A, and we play that leaving a little space between the two notes, and it should sound like this. Our next note is a B. We leave a space again between the two notes and it sounds like this. Between B and C there is no space, so we put our third finger right next to the second and we play a C. Now we use our fourth finger to play this D note, leaving a space in between. Let's review each note. We start with the open string G. Here we go. Great job. Now I want you to play along, go back on the video and play this as many times as it takes to memorize those notes on the fingerboard. Do not assign your fingers, your left hand fingers, to specific notes because your left hand will be moving up and down the neck. So the notes change on your fingers. It, they will not, however, change on your fingerboard. So memorize the notes on the fingerboard and practice this as many times as it takes to play it correctly and to know those notes by heart. Once you've done that, we will move over to the ND and if you've played this D correctly with your fourth finger, it should sound exactly the same as the next open string. And this is where we'll start. So on the, on the third string, our D string, the first note is the open string D. Our next note will be an E. We'll leave a space in between and it should sound like this. Between E and F there is no space, so we put our second finger right next to the F first, leave your fingers down, and it should sound like this. With our third finger we have the uh, G note, we leave a space in between and play this. And after that we use our fourth finger to play the A. job and just like with the G string go back on the video and review this as many times as it takes for you to memorize the finger positions and the notes on the fingerboard. Let's review the notes. We start with our open D string. Here we go. jump. Review those notes, memorize them, play them correctly, and then we are ready to jump over to our next string. Just like before, if you've played this A note correctly, it should sound exactly the same as the open string A. And this is where we will start with our second string. So our next note down in line is the uh, B note. We'll leave a space and play a B. Our next one is a C. There is no space between those two notes. Should sound like this. Now we play a D. And then 
Our next note is going to be an E and we use our fourth finger. Let's review the notes on our A string. We start with the open A. Here we go. Play them until you've got them correctly and memorized. Now this E note is the same as this open E note right here. And let's look at the end notes. After the E comes an F. There is no space between the E and the F, so this F is very close to the saddle. It should sound like this. Now we have our G note. We leave a space in between and play the G. After that comes the A with a space in between. And our last note that we'll be viewing here is the B. We'll leave a space again. So let's review all those notes. We'll start with the open E. Here we go. Great job. Review those notes as many times as it takes, just like you did with the other strings, hopefully. So here we've just seen all the natural notes that we can play on first position. So these are all your notes on a violin. These are all natural notes. We'll talk about sharps and flats a little bit later. First, I want you to review all the notes on the violin. So we will play this entire scale right here. Um, these notes you should know by now. Here is your fingering. And the only difference is that we will get rid of the uh, fourth finger since this D is the same as this open string D we will use the open string notes when they're the same. So pay attention to the uh, notes here and the fingerings here. Mm. Whenever you're ready, we can start. So let's go. We start with the open G. Here we go. Great job. Review this part again as many times as it takes for you to have played those notes correctly and be in tune. That's very important. These are all your natural notes. Let's add those fourth finger notes on the violin fingerboard. There we go. You should know all these notes. The uh, next step is going to be our sharps and flats. And the sharps and flats, these are notes that go in between those spaces that we have been leaving before. So they would look kind of like this. The reason I'm using the symbol instead of writing out each individual note is because, for example, on this A, if we go down, it'll be an A flat. If we have the open G string and we go up, it'll be a G sharp. So this is played on the uh, space in between. Mm. Let's use another example and um, let's go all the way up to our G string right here. Uh, not the G string, I'm sorry, the G note on the first string. Now we're going to play this sharp, so that means it's just half a tone higher. It's right next to the G. It should sound like this. And the next half tone up is the A. I hope that makes sense. Here we're going down now. We're going to start with the A. We go half a tone lower. That would make it an A flat. And we go back to the G. I hope that made sense. Those 
This rule counts for all the notes. If you go half a tone up, meaning that you move your finger just half a position up, then you're making that note sharp. If you move your finger half a tone down, then that'll make it flat. What I want you to pay attention on here is that depending on if you were sharpening a G, then you would still use the same finger you used to play that G. So the second finger for the G sharp going up, we still use that same second finger. Now, if we are playing a flat, then we are flattening this A right here. So we play the A with our third finger. If the A is flat, then we would use our third finger again. We move it down. If we played this A sharp, we would use our third finger and move it up. I hope that made sense. And you probably have noticed that both of these notes are exactly the same as well. They're both, it's a G sharp, sounds like this, and an A flat, it sounds like this because they both use the very same space between the notes. So that would give you all the sharps and flats and all the possible notes that you can play in first position on your violin. Congratulations, and we will put your skills to the test now. We will play a G major scale. Remember from the last tutorial, well, this symbol here is a sharp and it's right next to the clef symbol. So this means that throughout our entire music sheet, all our Fs are going to be sharps. So whenever we encounter an F, no matter where it is, it'll be sharp. So let's play this G major scale. On the first test, I will still leave these notes up here for your reference and these notes here. So let's play along. I'll, I'll be playing with you. One, two, three, four. Great job. Did you remember to play that F sharp? If you did, then wonderful. If you didn't, play it again and again and again until you have this scale memorized. And for the uh, second part of the test, we will be playing again the G major scale, but we will start where you left off last time. So with the uh, third finger on the G. And that would be, oh, that would be on your second string. I mean on your third string, I'm sorry third finger on third string on the G note. It should sound like this. So let's play it together. This time you will not have the visual reference. You should remember from before. So let's play the scale. One, two, three, and four. job. You have the uh, two octaves on the G major scale. Try to play them both together. And this would conclude playing notes on the uh, violin. This has been the first position. There, there are many more positions and we will review those later. For now, thank you very much for watching. Put your violin to rest and have a good day.